what was your feel in terms of maybe offensive rhythm, run pass balance, you know, connection with receivers, the communication you were able to get free snap, just where was that maybe compared to the beginning of spring? Yeah, I think we definitely came a long way um, since the beginning of spring. Day one, um, you know, everyone's trying to fill fill out the offense, fill out the playbook, you know, kind of just get used to everybody and and um, every practice we've built on that and we've built chemistry with each other and we've really uh, been able to, you know, get things going and, and kind of come together as an offense and a team. And, and so I think today was a really good showcase of, of what we can do and, um, and I think it's just it's the, the bottom right now and we're going to continue to keep growing um, and improving as uh, all the way up until fall. Stay on your left with Mike and then Matt. How are we able to judge your progress specifically? I think that, you know, Kirk kind of came in here a couple times and said you made significant steps after, you know, kind of the halfway point. What do you think that meant and like, where do you think you are since you know, the beginning of spring in the offense? Uh, yeah, again, I, I, my goal is to improve every single practice and, and get better. And, um, and that, that comes a lot with what you're doing off the field in between practices. Um, and so big emphasis was the spring was to uh, get control of the offense, you know, and get control of uh, the team and the offense be able to run that. Once you're able to run that, you'll be able to confidence to go out and play. Um, and, and so that was, you know, what I was trying to do every single day. But it was, it was really just a, a great job of everybody that helped, you know, come together. We were all, a lot of us were new on the offense. And so being able to uh, come out every day and, and, and just, just learn and get better helped me improve um, and hopefully keep doing that as well. We'll stay on your left with Matt, then we'll go to Pete. Um, Coach talked about the running backs, Ty and Jalen and Justice, and, and how well they've done. As you, as a, I don't know if you want to try to push the ball down the field, but how nice is it to have the security blankets when you have to check down that after the catch, if they can get you know, a lot of yards at the catch? Oh, it's huge. Uh, I think we have one of the deepest uh, running back rooms in, in the country, um, and, and a lot of guys that can make plays, as you know, shown today. Um, and, and as a quarterback, obviously, you want to be able to pass the ball, but uh, being able to run the ball effectively really opens up the pass. And so being able to have uh, you know, running backs that are able to you know, create plays on their own really helps uh, uh, you know, the whole offense as a whole, and, and that's cool. Second row on your left, Pete. Yeah, well, what is it about this offense that, that excites you? What is it that, that drew you to the um, I, I really think it, you know, the way that they, um, the coaches, the mentality of they, they had, and, um, you know, they have, I love the playbook and love the design they have, but I think it's the way that they call it and the way that um, uh, Coach Shanahan and Coach Tino um, really think about things and think about how the, the drive's going to be. That would seem like they're, they're a step ahead, um, and it, it really puts defenses on their toes. We're going to your left in the second row to Todd and then to Jack. Curtis, uh, your last series was probably your best series. What does that mean in terms of exiting out of this game with probably you kind of raised yourself to a crescendo through the, through the game got better? What does that mean in terms of your development and your confidence in, in uh, what you can do with this offense? Yeah, it means a lot. I think the, you know we had some flashes of uh, you know good plays uh, throughout the whole whole night, and uh, we just couldn't finish some drives. Um, and you know that starts with me, obviously. Um, but you know being able to, to get ready for the next play and have that mentality to the next play, um, you know we're able to go down and, and have a finish on a good drive. It's, it's confident building for the, um, for myself, obviously, but for the whole offense, um, and we'll hopefully to continue that and push that as we go into the summer work. Go first row on your far right to Jack and then Mason. Yeah, just going back a little bit further, what kind of went into your decision to come to Indiana? What stood out to you like when you were talking to the coaching staff and, and kind of just evaluating this opportunity? Yeah, um, I mean, a lot of things really went into my decision, but um, I think the coaching staff and, and the mentality to, that they have of just, you know, they're coming in to win is, is something that really drew me to here. Um, you know, uh, Coach Signetti's, you know, a confident guy, and he should be. He has a resume for that. Um, and so being able to... Um, hear that and hear that he's not here to just, just to start rebuilding. He's here to win in year one. That says a lot about who he is and, and about who he is as a coach. Um, and then, you know, kind of getting into the, the talk about the offense. I really enjoyed what it was. Talk about the mentality. Kind of heard that a little bit as I was kind of getting used to here. And, um, it, it's, uh, it's, only, it's only impressed me as, as I've, you know, continued to be here and all that. Well, Mason on your right, then Seth. Yeah, Curtis, kind of sticking on that same thing, working with Tino Sinceri for a full spring now, you have a summer, a fall with him. What are you kind of hoping to get out of that? And kind of as you reflect upon this time now, what have you feel? What do you feel like has grown the most in your game so far? Uh, you know, I think I, I hold myself to a really, really high standard, um, and, and he's really instilled that in me. Uh, he's, a, he's a great coach, one of the most knowledgeable coaches I've been around, and um, being able to uh, constantly, uh, you know, 
help me work on you know every little thing because you know each thing really comes together and you can play a complete game as a quarterback. Uh, so much goes into being a quarterback, obviously, and, and um, you know you can't be complacent. I think that's the biggest thing that you know I really admire about him is he doesn't let us get, get complacent, um, and that's ultimately helping us grow as a whole quarterback room. Um, I think that's shown in the spring for sure. All right, we'll go Seth and then Zach B. You talked before about all the adapting you had to do and all the new pieces you had. How did you go about when you came in here building rapport with all the rece new receivers that, you, that you're playing with now? Just how did you go about building those relationships to kind of gain trust with them on the field? Yeah, uh, I mean, it, it was definitely a, a, an envi a new environment for me to come in. Uh, but I knew that, you know, a lot of guys, I don't know, we had 20 plus, you know, maybe more transfers that came in at one point. And so I knew that I wasn't the only one. Um, and so someone had to, you know, go ahead and, and, and take a lead and, and kind of be able to figure out, you know, how we're going to do this, how we're going to learn together. Um, in January, we, um, I tried the best I could, and a lot of other people tried to get together, get to know who, we, you know, each other were. Um, try to get a head start on the offense because we're all learning together, and I think that's the best thing. Um, one of the better things that we were able to do this spring was just be able to learn together and because uh, we were all in the same boat. Um, and I think that's special, and that's really brought us a lot closer as a team. We have Zach on your right, and then last one, Mike. Speaking about the tight ends now, it looked like when it mattered most, I guess you could say, in that last drive, you looked to your tight ends a lot. What kind of connection do you have with them? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're all great guys, great players. Um, you know, uh, our offense is, is built to, to love tight ends as, as much as our running backs and receivers. So, um, you know, it's kind of taking what the defense has given us and, and just having the tight ends be open. Um, and when you can get the ball in the tight ends' hands, they usually uh, – Good things come from that. And the last one here on your left to Mike. Yeah, Curtis, uh, Kurt today seems very blunt. Uh, has he given you some blunt advice yet? And how do you kind of take his approach? Uh, at, you know, when he's working with you as a quarterback. Yeah, uh, I mean, he, he doesn't he doesn't say too much, um, but when he does, you want to make sure you're listening and you want to make sure you take that you know seriously. Um, he's uh, like I mentioned, his resume is crazy. He's won at everywhere he's been. And so if he's saying something, you got to make sure that you're listening and you're taking that to heart because um, what he's saying is, is most likely true and all that. And so uh, he's been great to, to um, uh, you know, to, to learn from and, and be able to have as a head coach. Um, and I think he's bringing the whole team along with him. In terms of your development, what's your focus on kind of in the, in the months ahead? Uh, you know, I have a big, uh, uh, obviously, continue to understand the offense and be able to, to learn it and be able to, you know, have it as my own, but also really working on, on my footwork, really working on getting quicker feet, being able to, you know, to be emphasis for the summer um, and so I can be able to, to move quicker, um, not only running the ball, but just in the pocket. Um, so I think it's a very underrated thing and, and really emphasizing that this summer. Great. Thanks, Curtis. Thank you. Thanks, Thank guys. You.